We've all been at a point in our lives, or at least I assume most of us have been at a point in our lives where we've had to save money. We've had to conserve money for some reason, and we, we couldn't spend the big bucks like we wanted to. Because, like the old people say, money doesn't grow on trees. <coughs> Although, they could buy a house for 10 cents when they were young. So, maybe it, it did grow on trees, and now it doesn't. And they feel the need to tell us that. We're living the good life, right? Most of us have probably had to save money at some point in our lives, and we've had to maybe act a little cheaply in our life, if you will. <laughs> we need to strip our spending down to the, the bare bones, the basics, you know, water, food, shelter, the whatever the hierarchy of needs are. I can't remember Bruh. now, but y you know what I'm talking about. What What's the worst thing you've ever done to save money? Have you been an extreme uh, cheapskate? Uh, and I want you to let me know right now. Type, I don't care how bad it is, let me know the worst thing you have ever done to save money. And usually when I just hear the word cheap, I think of someone who has money, but they're not willing to spend it. Not necessarily someone who doesn't have money and, and like can't spend money, but technically you could use it for someone who is poor, but I feel like that's a little derogatory. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to be looking at an episode of TLC's hit show. I don't actually know if it's a hit or not, um, but I have seen many people uh, react to the show before. Their hit show, Extreme Cheapskates. And the title of this episode, this is where it gets you. This is a little clickbait, but I, I don't think it's clickbait. Victoria pees in a jar to save money. The thumbnail is just a picture of Victoria here, the, the poor girl, the poor lady, Victoria here, and a bottle of pee. I don't know if this show's fake or not, but for funny purposes, it's gonna be 100% real. The only part of this episode that I have watched so far is the introduction. I want you to guess what state this woman lives in, where this all occurs in, what state comes to mind first. Maybe you think Florida, I think that's a little harsh. You know, let's not be too harsh on Florida here. Ohio. Yeah, if that doesn't tell you everything you need to know about the events that are about to take place in this episode, I don't know, I don't know what else will. Well, maybe the, maybe the title of this video. So let's get into it. Welcome to the world of extreme cheapskates. Again, Columbus, Ohio, city will never see me. Uh-uh, not, 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 not while the sun still rot, sets and rises, will that city see me? I'm Victoria Hunt and I am an extreme cheapskate. My favorite thing about this is I love TV shows where they take someone who clearly has something not clearly, I'm assuming now, but probably has something wrong with them. Not wrong, but something going on in their head. They they give them a space where they can proudly proclaim that there's some sort of mental illness in there. <laughs> it's like extreme hoarders. You guys have definitely some psychological issues. <laughs> and they're like, let's profit off of this person. Welcome back to Extreme Collectors, the show where we find people who love collecting Maybe a little too much. Uh, hi, um, should, should I look at you or the, the, cam the camera? Okay. Uh, hi, my name's Steve, and I like to collect teeth. I've been collecting since I was five, and I started to lose my own teeth. And now I collect the teeth of others. And where do you find these oh, teeth? you know, just dentist offices, this place, nor the normal places like that. Um, They'll give you them if, if you if you ask the right questions, they'll give them to you. There's just there's something about them. I mean we've all got teeth and they're all unique. Um it's uh a very interesting trade. Okay, this is my bedroom. I'll be the first to admit that it's kind of ugly. It is ugly. I mean, she has not even a blanket on there. It's just a Bruh. sheet. All she she only sleeps with a sheet. This blind came with the house. Free. <laughs> That's the best price of all. I mean, yeah, we can all agree on that. Free is best. But as my annoying teacher from high school would say, nothing is ever free, guys. If you're getting something free, someone's paying for it. Shut up. 
Dude, shut up. Let me get my free food. So this is my bathtub. Look at it, it's brand new and shiny. I don't even have to clean it. There's no mildew on my grout, which is amazing. I have never cleaned it because I've never used it. <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> I have a gym membership and that's where I take my shower. I like to work out, I'm kind of a gym rat. I'm there every day anyway. Oh, okay. I It is extreme, but is it the worst thing she can do? No. She works out, she showers. I work out and then I shower. If I went to the gym every day to work out, I would shower. That Okay, I, I that kind of makes sense. Why wouldn't you buy a house with a well then if you were an extreme cheapskate? Because then you wouldn't have to pay for water. I don't understand. <laughs> this is where I deposit my urine. And here's a jar of my piss, guys. Here's a jar of my collected diarrhea from the past two months. In an effort to save money, I started peeing in a jar. Just uh, coincidentally happens to be in a lemonade jar. Quite pungent. No sh it's pungent, it's piss. I don't, <laughs> wow. You know, this piss has been sitting in here rotten for two months straight. Oh, it smells kind of bad, actually. And the longer it sits, the stronger it gets. Bruh. I had read online that you can put your urine into your compost pile. And I thought, wow, I can pee in a jar, build my compost, and not have to flush my toilet. I, listen, it's a little crazy to pee in a jar. I, I don't even want to know how she does that as a woman, because, like, take it from me, it's like a sprinkler when you pee when you when you have body parts like that it's like a sprinkler okay so it is crazy that she does this but i do completely get it you can put your pee and poop in a compost and it does help the compost i'm sorry it's just a it's just a fact if you're a cheapskate you you should have bought a house that had a well i know it would have cost more upfront, but you would save more in the long run see this is what these people don't account for. So I pee in a bottle, but don't get me wrong. I, you know, I poop like everybody else and I put that in the toilet. And so I flush probably one or, one or two times a day. I mean, I probably don't flush that often either. I'm gonna, I am a stickler when it comes to, if it's yellow, let it mellow. It just doesn't make sense to flush the pee, especially if you drink a lot of water. Cause I drink a lot of water. So when I pee, it's basically clear. It doesn't smell at all. So it's like, it, it, it's a no brainer to not flush your pee. I mean, after, I pee a couple times, I'm gonna flush it. But I, if it's brown, you flush it down, okay? I'm not crazy. So this is my kitchen. This is the original 1961 oven. I eat a lot of eggs, because I have chickens, and so I use this to cook my eggs pretty much every day. Is that not like a fire hazard? <laughs> I feel like an oven from 60 years ago probably doesn't, probably, it might not be the safest thing. I don't know, I'm, I'm not an electrician, but. Uh, we actually have all the original wiring from 1939, and I haven't had to spend a dime to replace it. Isn't that a bit dangerous? No, not at all. People get it mixed up all the time. They think newer equals safer. That's actually incorrect. The wiring from back in the day was 10 times safer from today's modern wiring. My mother, she kept the original wiring from our childhood home too. Taught me everything I know. Sadly, she passed a few years ago due to a house fire. <laughs> Excuse me, I miss her every day. Aw, oh, shit! Larry, call the fire department! Get, get that out of my face! As you can see, I have a very nice television, but I don't plug it in. I keep everything unplugged unless I'm using something. Again, again, I'm sorry. It's a, it's obsessive, but it is true. You do, it's called a ghost energy. I think that's what it's called. When you leave stuff plugged in and you're not using it, it does drain your, it, it, it does up your electric bill. I put my freezer on this timer mechanism on for 12 hours, off for 12 hours. I'm saving 50% on my electric bill. Okay, that's a little crazy. It doesn't, I don't feel like, I don't think that works so, right? Because it doesn't, once it's been off for 12 hours, it's gonna use a lot more energy to cool down than it would if you left it on the whole time. It wouldn't use as much energy because it's just staying at a consistent temperature the whole time. Okay, Victoria, I cannot defend you there because that doesn't make sense. 
scientifically. I think some people are a little squeamish about it. Well, what about the meat? It might like get a little thaw and freeze. I've never seen it happen. And I hope it doesn't happen because you are gonna get really bad food poisoning. <laughs> I've had this spreadsheet since 1989. I have all of my expenses, food, electric, the heating bill, fun money, birthday presents, Christmas, you name it, I've got it covered. But I do feel like most people, if they're financially responsible, they should keep like some sort of records of the money they spend, right? So I set up this spreadsheet to budget my entire life. And it goes all the way out to age 116, which is a number that like came to me in a dream or something. I'm convinced that I'm gonna live to be 116 years old. Well, not if you get food poisoning from the freezer. And now we're gonna do the trial move in. My lifestyle's a little bit different than Victoria's. I bet it probably is, Steve, because you're probably a little more normal than Victoria. <laughs> I came to find out she's a little too cheap. Victoria is the only millionaire that I know that dumpster dives. M m what did you just say? Millionaire? I is he like just throwing that out there or is he like actually serious? She's a millionaire and this is how she li Bro. So I've decided to try something new this week. Being rich gets old, like, really quick. So I'm going to be homeless for the week. I think this will be a good experiment for like, social justice and stuff. Spare some change? Anyone, spare, spare some change? So I'm a few hours into being homeless, and while I'm on the curb, I spot my sister, Chloe, walking by. I ask her for some change because, like, I'm homeless, right? Just for some change, please? Please? Ch ch change? And she completely ignores me, and that was really it for me. I mean, my own sister won't even give me money. What's wrong with the world? What, what state are we in? And I'm terrified for my first night. So I decided to go back home. I, I miss my giant fridge. I. I miss my private jet, I miss my, uh, my money. I'm excited to be rich again. This was like really hard for me. So I'm actually going to be taking a week off from the show to uh, take a trip to Cabo. I, I really hope I hope you all can understand at home. I'm trying to figure out like what kilowatts, but I don't know how to figure that out. So what's that gonna tell you? Come on, you know me and I gotta do the numbers. If you were gonna- Do a spreadsheet. If you were, I will. I don't understand, why doesn't he just like, it would make more sense if he just did what he wanted to do and just paid for it all himself. Cause like she's, she knows her electric bill with only her living in that house is $20 a month. So if he starts using the water and everything and, and doing all this and the electric bill goes up by a hundred bucks, it, she should be like, yo, Steve, you're paying for that 100 bucks. I'm not paying for that. I think that's harsh, but I feel like that's the way to go. I don't know. All right. So I'm putting in that you moved in yesterday. Four extra flushes. 15 minute shower. $7 increase. Why was he in the shower for 15 minutes though? I, 
I'm a big proponent for five minute showers. If you cannot wash your hair, wash your body and condition in five minutes, what are you doing in there? But like, I'd probably tap out of the shower about five and a half minutes. I wash my hair thoroughly, it is clean. I condition it, look how luscious it is. I wash, I don't smell, okay? You've been here one day. If I extrapolate on a monthly basis, my water bill has gone up 30%. You know that in one day? Mm -hmm. Okay. Extrapolate, wow, she's using big words for me. I haven't used that word since I was in like ninth grade. I need you to start peeing in a bottle for me. Please? No. It's not that big a deal. I'm really not that interested. Okay, Steve, it is easier for you to pee in a bottle. She's out there persevering peeing into a bottle. You know how easy it is for you to pee into a bottle, Steve? World's easier than for a woman to pee in a bottle. Take the L here, Steve, and just pee in the bottle. It's, pee in a bottle. There's no difference, yeah. You're standing at the toilet. You're either going in this vestibule or this vestibule. Well, why don't we just, then we could poop in a bucket too, and then we could just take the toilet clear out. Okay, it would have been really funny if she was like, you're right, we actually, let me get my spreadsheet. I, we need to do that actually. <laughs> poop in bucket, we'll save, let me, let me do the little maths here. Um, $5 a month, which is, yeah, $60 a year. Great idea, Steve. How about if I get you your own special bottle? We can have his and hers. Vicky, if I may call you Vicky. His and hers pee bottles. That's fantastic. Maybe I can find something free. You know, I focus on saving money. So I go dumpster diving. And I am not gonna harp her for dumpster diving. I am another proponent for dumpster diving. Dumpster diving is fantastic. If you can find food, if it's legal, first of all, I'm not recommending you do stuff that's legal. If it is legal, you should try dumpster diving. Food stores or supermarkets, grocery stores, whatever the hell you want to call it, throw away like full packaged food that is, has nothing wrong with it. So it's completely uncontaminated when it's in the dumpster. Um, and you could find like thousands of dollars worth of groceries in dumpsters. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna shit on her for this because I completely agree with her on this. It's like disgusting. Victoria consistently shows up with items from the dumpster. She calls them treasures, I call them trash. Look at this, rice and chips. This is like free gold. Uh-uh-uh, Steve, mm-mm-mm, wrong. One man's trash is another man's treasure. Or in this, in this case, one supermarket's trash is a cheapskate's treasure. Now, see, if I was doing what she was doing, I would try to find packaged food. I don't know, that's just me. One thing that I like to do is forage for wild edibles. They're absolutely free. Oh, here we go. Wild grape leaves. Again, I can't, I can't. I'm defending her. If you can find food outside in the forest that is edible, that you're not gonna get sick from eating, why not? I completely, I, I agree with her on this, totally. I like to pick greens from different plants and serve that as a salad. It helps save money. This is me, I'm the cheapskate, right? This is me, I'm the cheapskate, right? Right, TLC? This is me. And of course, I'm a little skeptical. <laughs> I know as soon as he, he went in there, she clicked the timer. Steve's going in the shower? Water running? Okay. Let's see how long this bastard takes. I've realized, wow, he's taking a long shower. Oh my goodness. You're showing the clock now. We didn't, what was the time before? How long has he been in there? Like a long shower to hers, like two minutes. <laughs> I built a thing called a rocket stove to save on the electric bill. I know you think this is crazy, but this is like how I cook my meals. If I have good weather, this is normal cooking to me. Is that safe though? <laughs> I mean, rocket and stove typically don't go together. So, <laughs> um, <laughs> sure. This isn't urine. <laughs> no. Steve, my man, that was funny. <laughs> Just making sure. Um, This isn't your hot piss, is it? No, Steve. That's your hot piss. 
And everything in the woods is covered in like a fine layer of animal urine. No, seriously. I washed okay. everything. Okay. Oh, shut up, Alex. She, if she washed it, she wa like the food you get from the grocery store, people have gotten e, e. coli from that. Okay, Alex? I'm sure the food she's getting from the woods is, is not any better than the food you get from the grocery store. So stop sitting on your high horse, Alex, okay? I'm gonna pass on dumpster cake. Really not my thing. You know, I've had much more dangerous things. Alex, <laughs> whoa, there was some trauma in that sentence. Yeah, I've actually had much more dangerous things, so, you know, this cake probably isn't the worst of it, so. At that point in time, I drew a line and I love Victoria. She's a great girl. There's a lot to love about her, but come on. He drew the line at a packaged cake taken from a dumpster. I, there's so many other things you could have drawn the line from. I can give this to Steve as like a gesture or a token of like welcome to our house together. Let me guess, dumpster? Yeah. People like put things by the dumpsters and they don't put it in the dumpster because what they're trying to say to people who are driving by is, Take me. I still work. Let me guess. Let me let me guess where you got this from. The dumpster. Yes. Yes, actually. I, yeah, I found it next to the dumpster. Actually, I have a crazy story about... She's got to be able to find a mid-ground because I really enjoy a nice hot shower. Thank you. I know you can do it. Yeah, okay. I'll be right back. There's some urine in the compost heap. Wow, what a lovely way to end the episode. Steve pouring his girlfriend's piss on the lawn. If that doesn't say love, I don't know what does. Maybe I, me, guys, I think I'm like unearthing a deep part of me. Maybe I'm a cheapskate. <laughs> See, like, I, that's the length people go to. To save money. I have never, nope. Well, I hope that was funny for you. Again, I really want to know, what is the cheapest thing you've ever done in your life? Because I don't think there's anything that crazy that, like, I should feel shame for. Um... I have admitted to, uh, you know, not flushing my pee, but again, I think that's different. That's defendable. That, that, that's, you can defend that, okay? So don't, don't attack me. Don't attack me. That's not, that's mean. Let me know what you thought about this video in the comments down below. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like me, you can subscribe. I post videos every Sunday at 12 p.m. And make sure you turn on your notification bell so you know when I post a video. Again, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.